microbiology. I've heard that you know the microbes in the soil can actually impact the terpene profile. Number one, is that true? Number two, is there a specific consortium of microbes that impact the flavor or certain terpenes being produced? I would say all microbes. I mean, the the really cool part about microbes is they really exude purely carbon-based molecules. All their enzymes, carbon-based. All of their organic acids, carbon-based. Acetic acid, acetobacter bacteria, acetic acid is extremely important for the for the, as a simple acid for the plant to turn into all of its biological molecules. Carboxylic acids are are what the plant will release from the root system to go find elements. And once these carboxylic acids, the root exudates, match up with these elements, it sends a flag saying, hey, I'm one of yours, and the plant can take it up at that point. Bacteria and fungi even break down molecules, consume them, wrap them into carbon, and excrete them out into a carbon-based molecule. So that's really why all of these um, all these microorganisms throughout the world um, indigenously inside the soil and the ones we're using will have an impact on, on the flavor produced inside the crop. Um, there's, I can't remember who did it, but there was a study. I'll have to find it. And I'll send it to you. It's a really cool study on uh, grapes and they're making wines out of, I think it was in Chile and they're making wines out of two different soil compo- the, the two different three, two, three different regions of soil. What they ended up doing is taking these regions of soil, growing um, a crop in it with the, mi- the microbes that are thriving, and they took the same soil and they, they, they nuked it. They completely killed any consortia and they made, made a sterile soil out of it. The, the bricks level in, in the grapes, when they measured the sugar content, it was like half the sugar content the normal the normal grapes were in fact they had way less tannins they had way less all, all the, the whole spectrum of molecules completely changed within the grape plant all because they sterilized the soil uh, so i would even go into saying that like you know the the, the soil profile itself is really important um so like grapes grown in france is different than grapes grown in chile and chile grapes are different than the ones in um italy and you see that not only does the the complex the, the the elements inside the soil matter, but what really really comes down to is the spectrum of microorganisms inside the soil because that's what produces all the carbon based molecules around the root system that the plant's going to take up and to turn into all these flavors and 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 all these dissolved solids within the plant itself. So the microbes play, I would say, just as big as a role as the elements you put into the plant as far as. Um, how the plant, how the flavor profile is going to come out and the terpene production is going to come out and the sugar content is going to be produced inside the crop. What are your thoughts on like the bottled microbial inoculants that are being sold that are kind of, you know, a, lot, a lot of them are limited in the diversity versus if you go out in your backyard, do the IMO process, you can get so much more diversity. Yeah, I think it, uh, the more diverse complex of microorganisms you have, the more complex the aromas and the flavors are going to come out. Um, I also think that goes into active compound synthesis. So uh, making all the favorite compounds we have in our medicinal plants and all the antioxidants and the blueberries and things that keep us healthy um, really come down to the consortia of bacteria and fungi and archaea and, and nematodes and, and everything, protozoa and all the, the organisms that are part of their, their food chain that they all eat each other and, and cycle through inside the soil. I think all of those really go down to getting the plant access remember it's about what you get out what you put in so all those those little machines those little microbes are giving the plant a, a, a wide variety of consortium of organic molecules carbon-based molecules that the plant can take up and synthesize into whatever they want that's why an inoculated crop whether it's a bottle or whether you use indigenous soils are always going to produce a better flavor crop than using a sterilizing agent like cleanse all the time um, and just constantly nuking everything, and you just the plant has no available organic compound to synthesize as a precursor into these flavors, into the the sugars, into um, the the terpenes. I mean, I like a lot of the the bottles of inoculants out there. I think you're always going to get a better profile inside an indigenous soil and just curating that indigenous soil with other carbon based ingredients, prebiotics different plant proteins animal proteins things that can wake wake up the soil essentially um 
you're always going to have a way better consortia of organic compounds around your plants with all those microbes breeding and growing like crazy compared to a sterilized Athena based crop, you know, where they, 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 they push ster sterility in your grow rooms. Um, they want you just to use their, their salt blends and keep everything sterile. And I think that is completely ignorant to what nature does and how nature has evolved over the years because it's supposed to, your plants are supposed to have endophytes and, and, and ectophytic bacteria around the root systems. It's supposed to have a mycorrhizae relationship. They're supposed to be rock phosphate in the soils that the mycorrhizae can latch onto and consume and directly inject the phosphorus into the root system of the plant. I think there's, there, you, you know, a, a bottled consortia of these microorganisms is way better than no consortia at all. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.